can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Again. Gust of air. This mark, almost like a bat wing. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hey boss, found you. Good. Hermes, at your service. Pleasure. You are the talk of Olympus. Normally I wouldn't get mixed up, but for you, I'll be making an exception. Now come on, we've both got places to be. the lift, Lord Hermes, sir. Now let's go. back at the house. I mean, I know you hear me and the others, but it's so damn dark down there, I can't hear you at all.
Zacharias. I'd figure Hermes himself was speeding you along, except I've not seen him about in... been a while, really. something. in here.
better things to do. Tower of Olympus. Never gone this far. Spend it all in one place, mate. as though you've got some fine wares up for sale, don't you? <laughs> well, this is awkward. <laughs> halt, Sagrius. Not one step further. Come on, Meg. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? Besides, don't you have some place else to be? Your father sent me. All in all, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back, like a good little man, or I can send you home the painful way. What'll it be? I'll have to go with the painful way. A man after my own heart. Here's my whip. Cheers for that, Meg. What? Well, looks like one of the wretched witches shot you dead last time. Sorry to hear that, huh? Have you tried shooting them first? I haven't. Back already. He's back already, Cerberus. Just as I indicated. I'm standing right here, Father. I'm sorry to disturb your rest again, Cerberus. You've done a good job. The realm is well defended still to the high standard that you set. shifting chambers of the underworld ought to be a little livelier with this. That shall be of no help to you, I'm sure. Here you go. Achilles is off duty. The lounge is open. Oh, the prince himself. You want to talk to me? Me? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
I uh, just wanted to say the lounge looks wonderful, as good as new. Better. I hope it's not been too much trouble patching up. Thanks for all your hard work. <laughs> Greetings, chef. Greetings, broker. A commemorative board adorns one of the stoic walls within the lounging area, celebrating and proclaiming the accomplishments of those who serve Lord Hades best of all. Won't ever see my face up on that wall, I guess. You have met most of your Olympian relatives by now, child. Although the power of their blessings is fleeting here, they shall continue to support you, as long as necessary. They all still think I'm headed to join them on Olympus. That's why they're helping me. They are helping you because you are family. Family with whom they do not yet have a complicated past. It's getting complicated pretty fast. Show me something new. I can talk you into fighting back this time. Not a chance, boyo. I'm paid to take it, not to dish it out. Now give it to me! Okay. It's sealed shut. Which to choose? and I, we've been holding back one of our greatest gifts to see if you were worthy. And you are. My aid is yours. So call me if you need anything, especially to smash your enemies to bits. Oh, what's this? The wrath of Poseidon at my beck and call. That was for last time. You want to go?
blessing of your uncle Lord Poseidon might have helped you to this point, but here, my gift shall see you further still. Thank <laughs> you. 
and set up shop. I've got to say, you are a sight for sore eyes there, Charon. So, uh, looks like you're selling, is that it? You come to help me out? Brilliant. giant evil crystal. What? Uh, what? <laughs> oh, looks like you ran smack into the doomstone out in Tartarus. Thing gives me the creeps. Next time, try standing perfectly still. That way it'll all be over that much faster. Makes sense. Be strong. happen to think you deserve better than you've got down here, Achilles. Maybe you'll have something more affordable next time. The Olympians can't really see me, can they, Nix? I mean, not very well. I get that they can sense details here and there, but they don't know the full extent of what's going on. Are we really so far beyond their influence? You are enshrouded from them, child. For your own benefit and theirs. They know as much as necessary to assist. And I trust they shall, for as long as you require. They are bound to one another as family. And they know that you require aid. Do not be too prideful to accept. I won't. Careful with that one, boyo. One more time. Hi, Aphrodite. Ah, oh, how I long to see you face to face. Until such time, however, this old means of keeping touch shall have to do. So you take care now, hmm? is 
full. lighter than before. should be useful.
father hid the knowledge of your birth and life from us, my cousin. It's unacceptable. I can switch to a different boon. I'm sure Lady Aphrodite won't mind. this one.
that's sure. Here's the fee. Hey, Carol, if there happens to be something really horrible awaiting me beyond that door, then give me a sign, won't you? Great. Can't buy that. Can't get rid of me, Meg. Ever stubborn, aren't you? Maybe my whip might make you reconsider whatever it is that you're attempting here. Your whip's not been all that persuasive in the past. Maybe persistence will pay off for both of us. Come then. treating you. Um, Mr. Hypnos, do you maybe think that you could, you know, uh, keep an eye on the procession line before Lord Hades, like you were supposed to? Oh, um, that's no problem. I can definitely do that. I'll just add it to the list. Um, good, then. Glad we had the chance to chat. Now, maybe get some sleep or something. You look pretty beat. Get on it, Hypnos. Have you ever run across the Shade of Daedalus in all your time? I found some of his legendary hammers out there, but no sign of him. I've never met him, no. Your father keeps him fully occupied with building out his underworld and renovating constantly. No wonder some of his old crafting tools are strewn about. I take it you've been able to make use of them? Indeed I have. For, for me? I can't accept something like this, lad, you know that. Come on, Achilles, live a little, uh, such as you're able. I won't tell if you won't tell. Hey, boy, just me again. Here to report it's pretty dangerous out there, even without you on guard duty all the time. The venerable hound of hell barely acknowledges the softly spoken prince's platitude, knowing full well the underworld is not as vigilantly guarded as in ages past.
Not everybody knows exactly how to give you pets and live to tell it, right, boy? Have you yet satisfied your foolish urges? Perhaps a lashing from the Fury's whips would set you straight. I had it out with them already, thanks. Such nonsense. First you defy me openly, and now you lie. On my next meeting with the Furies, we'll have a word about all this, you rest assured. Wish I could be there to see your face. Let's go with this one, then. The fated list of minor prophecies. That sounds somewhat exciting, I suppose. You requisition that useless bit of parchment. Nix, sometimes I get the impression the Olympians look down on those of us born of the underworld. Is that my imagination, or what do you make of it? The gods of Mount Olympus tend to think themselves above us, child. Or so your father often likes to say. He alone was relegated to this realm, and grew resentful of his relatives on high. I can't imagine him otherwise. Hey, that must be the fated list. I want to go lie down. Oh no, not this determinism thing again. the dead of night, or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the underworld, Zagreus, rises from a fitful slumber, with much mischief on his mind. Mischief? Me? I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever-dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as Willful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. He ventures toward the stately throne of his lord father, half expecting to be caught but ill expecting what he is about to find. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him, that he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions. So Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. But then, there is the note. Written finally in a hand and voice, the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Hades, I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone, that she's my mother? But, but father always said that Nyx was m That liar. He 
lied to me. They both did. All my life. Uh, thus did the prince discover inadvertently the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. <sighs> you... Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please... It never was my wish to hurt you. Mother, I wonder, will you even remember me? It was bound to happen, really. My extended family seems an interesting lot. Chambers of Tartarus have probably already arranged themselves by now. <laughs> 